Today we continue with uh, our laws of Shabbos. Today is class number 49. Okay, so and we start with a second. <coughs> we start with Sefer Shmeras Lashon. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, today's topic is um, for learning from the past mistakes. Remember at which injunction of our history the episode of Miriam affliction occurred when we were living in Egypt. Miriam's words were spoken at the start of the Jewish second year in the wilderness. Uh, when the knowledge of severity of Losh and Hara was not widespread amongst people. Okay. So, right. So, okay. So let, let's try to understand what we're trying to say. <clears throat> First of all, the episode uh, uh, happened on second year. Second year after the Exodus. So Exodus, uh, the the years after the Exodus is counted from Nisan, right? Not from Tisha, from Nisan. Because okay, that's right. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Uh, it, yeah. it kind of has to do with this. So uh, it took them, let's say, it was two, three years in the desert before Hashem told them uh, it's going to take them, uh, before the spies, correct? No, the, the spies was uh, right after Miriam. No, I, yeah, what time was the spies? About three years, two years? <laughs> second year, second year. Second year. Oh, but uh, I, I understand why it took them such a long time, you know, the other 38 years because of Shem, you know, they want them to enter the land, so on and so forth. Why did it take them t- two years uh, before Hashem wanted them to come into Eretz Yisrael? Should have much quicker? Like, uh, what's it called? I think the walk is... Uh, yeah, know, it's a 11 days. Not, uh, yeah. Right. yeah. No, you're right. It's, it's exactly. 11 days to the walk. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, why? Um, just one second, one second, one second. So I'm, I'm thinking. So Hashem wanted to give them uh, to walk them into the, the the land right away. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to mm-hmm. remember the whole story. <clears throat> uh, but, but before t- taking them into the land, He had to give them Torah. Right. right. So the uh, the giving of the Torah happened 50 years, 50 days after the Exodus. Uh-huh. Right, and uh, after that, Hashem went up to get the luchas to, to tablets, and when he came back on uh, on uh, what is it, seventeenth of Tammuz, I, I think that was the date. So they they, were, they built the golden calf. Mm-hmm. So after that, uh, and he so and after that he went up uh, another two times, and he came back on Yom Kippur. Mm-hmm. And from that time on, they were busy for a few months, uh, I think, uh, for with, uh, with the construction of the, what is it, of the, uh, of the tabernacle, the Mishkan. Uh-huh. So basically, they were busy with other things. So when, when they, uh, the, the plan initially, you're right, initial plan was to take it, get the Torah, now you know what to do. Go ahead, cross cross into. Uh-huh. Since they did all of this, uh, that's uh, that's what delayed a lot of things. And, and also, doesn't it have to do with maybe uh, at the very start of, uh, say, for Bamidbar, they had to count all the tribes on and so forth to know how to apportion the land, correct? So, no, was that no, also no, reason? No, 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 uh, the, to apportion the land was uh, the, for the, the workers, land. for the workers, I mean, uh, for, to, to know which one does which work. Okay, uh, at least, no, no, um, it's not that we, uh, only few people actually work, so other people mm-hmm. can give money, so we need, we needed this half a shekel, uh, so but half a shekel was collected only from the people from uh, each man from age of 20 to 60, mm-hmm. meaning the, 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 the one that would go to the military. Mm-hmm. So understand. that's, uh, so this Hashem was prepared, so you need the army. Of course, he would fight all the wars, as, uh, as it says in, uh, I think, it, last week, Parasha. So it says, Hashem is going to bring you. It's not like he's going to help you. He's going, no, 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 he's bringing you. I mean, he that does all, but, but you have to say, actually walk there. You understand? So you have to do some uh, shtablus, basically. Yeah, but that's that's what happened. So I think uh, it's, uh, should be, it's not just a simple story. It's a story, as we said last time, uh, when we discussed uh, David Hamelach a little, right, the history, 
this is the story like uh, to for all of us to learn for uh, for all the generations. When, when like I I, I was uh, I, I had a class before that, and I know that that person, uh, he works on Holomite, right? Uh, this intermediate day, and I told him many years, like do not work on Holomite. Why why do you need to work? You have a case, you're working for in a company, take uh, this time off, and that's it. Like uh, I, I would give when I used to work in my office, I, like as soon as new calendar would uh, they release new calendar, what it was like in September, I would send my boss, he was like always laughing. He's like, you normal. I would send it until the next September. I said, these days I'm not coming to, to office. They, they couldn't say, said, tell me no. They said, no, no, it's, it's too early. Let's wait until Jan I said, there is no January. I send you email. If you want, I can send CC to HR. I'm not working this day. I'm telling you now, I'm not. Say maybe maybe Chinese New Year. I, I say, I do not care about Chinese New Year. New Year. Okay, so they're going to celebrate. It doesn't matter. This year, that's it. Well, so, yeah. you're, you're, talking about, uh, you're talking about like actual working, not malachas, correct? For a whole month. Yeah, working, working, yes. Mm -hmm. So, okay. And, uh, so hopefully uh, in, in, uh, in, um, in a book that, that we learned, so <laughs> he read it, that how did it all start? So he said, that, I would say, just say, the person who um, who works on Holomet is going to Gehenna. That's what I would say, just say. I said, look, I, I told you many, many times, you didn't want to hear, listen to me. He said, no, but that's not, maybe not to take it literally. And when the person tell me not to take it literally, my <laughs> I said, what do you mean? How it is not, not literally could, could it be like all 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 book of this book you take literally, but this sentence since it is inconvenience to you, we should not take it literally. And that's what people do all the time of your life. So some things are not convenient to you. Some things we do not agree. Why? Because it's not to I like it, but it's the same Torah. You have to understand it's come from the same sages that receive uh, the Torah from Moshe Rabbein. Understand? Okay. Uh, aren't you allowed to work though if you're going to lose a lot of money? Lose, uh, losing and not making two, two separate things. Like losing meaning that, that you had, uh -huh. uh, I don't know, this uh, 20 boxes of tomatoes, right? So, and, and, and unless you sell on whole night, you're going to lose all this money. You already bought, they, they, they brought to you, delivered to you two weeks later, and this and that. It was, uh, you, you, you were supposed to sell before how they start to begin with, right? They were late, this and that. So now if you don't don't uh, don't sell this tomato, you're going to lose. But to go and buy these tomatoes with with uh, with the intention to, to sell the whole night, absolutely not. That's not that's not losing money. It's not making money. Two separate things mm -hmm. Yeah. Understand. In a sense, uh, so that's uh, hopefully he's going to cancel his work. I hope he's, he's going to take off. But uh, but what, what I noticed, and maybe somebody who is going to watch this uh, video and they, they also uh, take this review a little. So 100%, not, not 99, not 98, all of the 100% people who work on Holomite that I know, I don't know, like I'm talking about people that I know, that take vacation one week and two weeks and in a, in a, in a summer. When they want to go somewhere. So basically, there is no, no problem with vacation. They have vacation days. It's not like they don't. They do have, but they, they prefer to work on Holomayet and and, and uh, take it in the sun. That's uh, about these people's uh, fortune. And I told all of them, all of them. Okay, no problem. We continue. Okay, so, so Miriam spoke in the second year. Well, this, um, but the knowledge of severity of Lashon Hara was not widespread among people. So let's see the commentary. The Tzaraz that uh, which Moshe himself suffered for turning the doubt that the Jews would um, that the Jews would believe him when he returned from uh, Midian uh, to lead them, Shmoes uh, chapter four, was healed almost immediately. It was viewed as a sign rather than a punishment. So as, as we remember, to, that uh, Hashem uh, told Moshe that he is going to get two uh, two signs. So first sign, what he's going to put his uh, his hand up into his bosom, take out, and it's going to be white, completely white. Then he would put it back, and it's going to heal like miracle, right? 
So, and uh, why did Hashem say that? It's, it's that uh, to told Moshe to do that. And I, and, or actually not why, or when. Right after Moshe said, they're not going to believe me. Hashem said, they're not going to believe you. Guess what? You just got uh, infected with, uh, with this, uh, with this uh, tzaras. St- no, no, not with fact, like sticking with this tzaras. You understand that that's what the, the first uh, the first uh, uh, <clears throat> instance of uh, like uh, of this tzaras on 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 a person on, on a Jewish person. Okay, so continue. Made an affliction made such a knowledge known to all, making them fully accountable for the transgression uh, this sin. This explains the juxtaposition of this episode with the death of the spies, right, that we just mentioned, who spoke shamefully of, uh, of the precious land of Israel. Okay. The grievous sin of the spies and those who accepted their slander support was uh, compounded by the fact that they did not take a lesson from what happened to Miriam. Okay, for, first of all, they, they, they spoke bad about uh, the land of Israel that Hashem said it's the best world uh, land ever, ever, ever. Okay, first. And second, second of all, this episode with media just happened. Why, why don't you learn? So many times people, they, they, uh, they hear the book, they, they hear Mosar, but they, they think that uh, we are talking about somebody else, somebody else from another country, from this, this bad, bad guy, but uh, definitely not, uh, not about me. But they have to learn this class, and because they did not, and uh, <clears throat> as uh, as our commentary say, they were they were like big tzaddikim and stuff. So at, at least in the beginning, um, and big uh, leaders. That's why they were punished because leaders and tzaddikim, if you want to be in charge, you have to be responsible for others, and you have to learn from the less. Continue. We cannot in any way compare ourselves to the righteous media, who uh, whose merits, as mentioned above, could not save you from affliction. So meaning, uh, as we know, in your merit, we will get the, the well, the water, the whole nation, drinking water for so many years, right? So for sure, we don't have such merits. And still, those merits could not save him. Moreover, we are uh, obligated to take lesson both from episode of Miriam and that of the spies. Therefore, if one will be guilty of Miriam's sins, or worse, uh, worse yet, if he will intentionally seek to degrade or embarrass his fellow, and as we said, she was doing that out of love, surely he will not escape the most severe punishment, and it may not be long in coming, as was in the case of Minim. So as we know that uh, afflictions the strict you like uh, almost immediately. Remember what Hashem, your God, did to Miriam on the way when you were living in Egypt. Okay, so we'll start. All right. So, Rabbi, yes. Before we start, can I just ask you one question on Rambam? Very, yes. very good question. Yeah. So in Hil uh, I think it was, he says you should uh, eat your last meal before sleep, maximum three, four hours before, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so does that also mean like, let's say a snack, like let's say you have fruit? No, 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 it's not fruit. Fruit you can eat uh, in, in, in between. Uh-huh. Fruit, uh, you see, fruit is a is a different story. It's it's very easily to digest it, and unless it's like not not uh, not ripened fruit or some like uh, like uh, plums, like it's not good for your stomach. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, one one there's no problem. But if you or uh, apricots and stuff, if you eat many of them, not good. They're going to upset your stomach. Uh-huh. Okay. So. <clears throat> So we continue with our milah of plowing. Okay, so let me go quickly. Um, give some summaries, one second. Wait, does, oh, what are you saying applies also to wine or no? To what? Like wine and grape juice. Wine or grape juice? Uh, <laughs> I learned this uh, in, in the first day of Rosh Hashanah. So, so around, around, around the table we learned. Awesome. So we learn as much as we eat. So if we eat, uh, no, it's it's actually all, almost double time. So that, that's my rule. So if you wanna eat two hours, so we're going to four. <laughs> so people eat fast, right? 
No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. So, um, so it says, uh, and Rambam also said it, it's uh, that there's people. Was it Rambam or a mistake? Like uh, it's not good this in the morning to drink like hard liquor in the morning. Or was it Maybe I'm mistaken. And uh, and afternoon wine. Uh -huh. So the people who drink uh, in the afternoon. I mean, if you need to for for the digestion, right? So if you want to drink a little wine, a little like, red juice is different. I mean, halakhically is wine, but uh, it has uh, almost no alcohol. Maybe I don't know. Like, very so red juice are allowed to have it. Let's say an hour before bed, allowed, no problem. Yes, 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 yes. And even even like uh, even uh, closer to, to the bedtime. Understood. There is no problem. So the, the problem one more time is a meal. And then we'll lose the problem. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> so what activities are, are prohibited under this prohibition of uh, of uh, plowing, right? So let me read the list and we go to where we left off. So we said that plowing and losing in the ground, like straightforward. Then I'm on page 248. Leveling, leveling the ground. That's uh, another one. Um, so that, that's when uh, when we say playing with the ball and uh, all other things, sweeping, right uh, in, the, in the, the dirt floors. See making furrows on the ground, and that's what we're going to learn right now. Is that the sham? D are uh, removing obstacles from the ground, as we said, like moving moving, uh, moving away some of the. Uh, uh, rocks and uh, other things. Right? Uh, e fertilizing the soil. This is uh, what I was what I was fertilizing. So, for example, some uh, some uh, I don't know, sugary drinks like you 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 drink tea and you don't want any this tea any, uh, anymore. So, but this sugar is actually good for uh, uh, for, for for plants. Yeah, in a sense, I, I know that that's what my wife does. She she does sometimes in roses or other. Uh, flowers. She put. She would put like a cube of sugar, and they start blooming and like unbelievable. Okay. And F, making holes in the ground. Okay. So, let's see. so we're going to start with C. <clears throat> C meaning uh, making furrow furrows on in the ground. Making furrows uh, in the ground is including in av I mean, uh, you do it with the plow or with any other things. It's forbidden. Um, <clears throat> because the pharaohs prepare the soil for planting uh, the seeds uh, or young plants. That's simple, right? As we said, in, in, order, in order to put the, the seed into the ground, you have to make a hole. You have to make the hole of the pharaoh. Okay, <clears throat> number one, compressing the earth. Making pharaoh by removing the soil, uh, from its place, prepare the ground for planting. Because one can place seeds in the ground and cover them up with the loose uh, earth. Making furrows um, by compressing earth uh, does not remove any uh, does not remove any soil and does not improve the ground for planting. Any seed placed uh, in those uh, furrows uh, can easily be blown away in the wind. Therefore, compressing the earth is not considered a uh, so now I'm not sure like how exactly he, he's compressing, I'm not sure. But but him he, he the, like to to plow as we said before, so you 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 turn like uh, this uh, earth like on a on a side, making a hole, and then you 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 throw the seeds in a hole and then cover uh, cover the, the hole again. But here in, instead of making it loose, he actually make it hard. Okay, so of course it's not uh, helping the <clears throat> the planting, and any wind can uh, blow all away these seeds. Okay, number two, practical uh, apl application res uh, resulted from the prohibition to make furrows in the earth. Even if uh, one done does not intend to facilitate planting, it is nevertheless forbidden to make furrow or uh, do something uh, that would uh, result from. Uh, Pharaoh being made. So it does not matter, like, uh, you don't have any seeds, for example, right? Uh, so, okay, so for, 
first example, let, let's see first example, I already saw it, okay. Uh, pulling the object along the uh, earth's surface, okay. One is permitted to drag a light object along the earth, despite the possibility that a furrow will be made. Since a person does not intend to make a furrow, and it is not definite that, um, that, uh, that his action will, will result in making one. His action is classed as an uh, unintentional act. Unintentional act, which is permitted. For example, he would, uh, he would drag, I don't know, like this plastic chair. I was like, you know, like this uh, uh, like white plastic chair, like uh, they're very really light. But for example, he's, uh, I mean, he cannot lift it for, for whatever reason, you know, elderly person. So it's uh, very unlikely that uh, this plastic chair is going to, to make a deep furrow and stuff like that. So, okay. so it would be allowed. Okay. However, one is not permitted to drag heavy object <clears throat> uh, along the earth. Yeah. Uh, so let's say. Uh, it's home wide. It's uh, no, uh, no, not home wide. Uh, let's say inside of an Arab, right? That's a better inside of an Arab. Someone has a mansion and he has a bike. Is he allowed to drive the bike inside his garden or no? Bike, uh, bike, we're not allowed to drive anyway. No, uh, okay, so does he do two malachas at that point? No, is, is it forbidden because he could make a furrow or no? No, in, in this case, actually, you know, whatever you said, it's 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 a good case. It's it's actually the, the, this example that I, I could not uh, figure out. So it said, on one hand, you you do making fire, right? On another hand, you compress, mm -hmm. you compress the earth. So it it would be very hard for that specific place or the forum uh, to the for, for the seed to grow. You understand? So I think it's a good mm -hmm. place, which is. Uh, I mean, it's not allowed, but after the fact, you did not improve uh, the, the, the soil. But uh, we, we're not uh, just, so, so since, since we're on a, on a subject of bikes, uh, we're not allowed uh, to, uh, to, to use bikes, right? To, to ride bikes on, on, on Shabbos or, or Yom Tov. Why? Because, um, because it, the, the, it's possible that chain might slip off and you will get to repair the bicycle. So, but scooters allowed? This, uh, yeah. scooters allowed or no? Scooters would be allowed, and uh, this, um, I don't know what they call, uh, I think they call big wheel bicycle. Or, I don't know. I, what no, 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 no. Kids' bicycle when you have pedals on the first uh, wheel. What, 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 what do they call it? Uh, you mean the first No clue, no clue. It is no, no, but here, are, are you, uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Like three wheels. Yeah. And the the, the, the the pedals on on the first on the first wheel, on, uh -huh. on the first wheel. So the, the, there are no chain basically. There is nothing to be to, to, to get broken. It's so simple. These bikes are so simple. So that, that would be a lot on YouTube. On YouTube, it would be a lot to drive that. Yes, yes, yes. So if you have a, if you have a aero, right? So you can you can go. I mean, if you if on your backyard, it's a lot. But if you if you if you have aero, that's you then you can, you can go around. Why can't I do it outside the Erev on Yom Tov? Oh, why do I need an Erev on Yom Tov? That's a, that's a better question. Okay, so do, do, do you need that to Erev on Yom Tov? I would say to, because, okay, so what's the problem with the bike? Let's step back, right? The, 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 the problem with the bike or like with a, with a scooter, as, as you said, so it, that you can make it. Okay, maybe it carries you, but you can need it. So some, like, uh, because of your force, Right? It's it's moving, so it carries uh, it, it being carried by you, whatever you wanna, uh, how you wanna look, look at it. So basically, you you carry this bicycle in a, in a public domain. So let's say if we have this public domain. So I would say yeah, there is no problem because we are allowed to carry in, uh, for for enjoyment and stuff like that. Yeah, it would be allowed. Yeah, there is no problem if it's um, yeah. But but bicycles never allowed because there, there is. Totally different uh, prohibition, but some I heard in Florida, in uh, Canada, in some other places of so all of these wicked rabbis. They said, "No, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, ride the bicycle because people live very far." But you see, once you start the um, bending the halacha, like since it was accepted throughout generations, we don't change it. 
when we chant, never, never. As the niche says, all of the new forbidden. Well, well, maybe it's good, no, it's not good. So if it did not come from Moshe Rabbein, it's not good. How do you know? All of the good are in the Torah. So all of the, whatever Hashem gave us, it's all good. If if it's not there, so, so we don't need it. Yeah. Is it in sense uh, uh, what, what if it's a brand, brand new bike? The chain, chain's not going to break, so normally... Uh, um, in in that piece of uh, that, that that I a lot of with uh, with other people about um, about Holomayev, so it, it, about the, the Holomayev, it says uh, clearly that some works are, are permitted to do on Holomayev, some some jobs are permitted to do on Holomayev, but people like uh, people say, oh, this is permitted, this uh, everything must be permitted, and that was the problem, and that's why. Our sages declare many things muktza specifically on a, on a, on a holiday, on a, on a holiday to on a holiday to, to show them that it's it's stricter than Shabbos. You understand? Because people start the disagree. They, they they do not know the difference. Uh, this is allowed. This is not allowed. How come this is allowed? So they say whatever requires tools, we're not going to use. What of these musical instruments? For example, all the musical instruments are forbidden on. Uh, on, uh, on Shabbos, on Yom Tov, right? So I'd say, why? The same that, that uh, he, he might get to, to fix it a little, to tune it, uh, to fix it, right? So if he, he has this, uh, I don't know, like, uh, uh, what is it? Um, this thing, like a wooden thing with, with, with the holes. Okay, like, how, how can it be broken? Like, maybe, but maybe he would uh, mimic the wider holes, like, uh, whatever, so, like, something got stuck, he started fixing. So basically they say, None are permitted, and that's what we follow. That's it. I mean, straight as there is. Israel, any questions so far? Tell me. Um, uh, yes, I, I was thinking about the, the bike for Vilen and Shavos. Uh, what about the uh, electric scooter? No, electric, of course, uh, for me, because it's, uh, it's a fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, David was asking about regular scooter. Regular oh. scooter, or if, if there is air, that's a different story. You can use it, I guess. I mean, maybe it's not in spirit of Shabbos, but uh, I mean, but if, uh, if that's the only way for you to get um, to the shul, and and it's it's not, and you you don't go beyond the city limit if it's in the same city. So, for example, in Florida, I think like uh, they. They would have like one town and then another town and then you drive and you don't know which, which town you are in. So that place could be a problem, right? Why? Because uh, uh, there is still city limit that past uh, whom Shabbos, uh, past uh, which you cannot walk. So in the city you can walk uh, no, two hours in one city, which is no problem. I, I thought that uh, bikes were not allowed because they are. Uh, Mechanical device, and um, maybe mechanical. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with mechanical device. Other mechanical device, I, I guess, uh, they, they're permitted. For example, oh. you have lock in your house. Lock in your house, it's mechanical, right? But oh, you can yeah. use it. Right? Yeah. So other things uh, you can uh, you can use uh, also mechanical. There is no problem. No. You so the problem is a chain. If it falls uh, falls off the chain, so you might get to fix it. And use tools. That's what's forbidden. Let, let's let's say someone you know Shabbos in the summer people eat late. So let's say someone says, "Listen, it's too late to eat. So what? I'm gonna stay up a little bit later. I'll stay up another hour, two hours. I'll follow Rambam, right? And then okay, maybe uh, I'll wake up a little later. Uh, so he has two choices now. He can either walk there and be uh, uh get that brachu not took it to Zimmer. He'll say took it to Zimmer afterward. I'm, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't understand where, where you're going with this. Can, can you step back? And uh, from from the beginning, tell me the story. So it is uh, they, they eat late. So, say it again. I didn't get. Eating oh, yeah. late. No, no. I'm sorry. It, it, somehow it's frozen. Okay. So try try one one more time. You were okay. Okay. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So he's eating late, right? So he says, I'll wait, I'll wait a little bit more before I go to sleep. And now he wakes up a little bit later. 
So now he has two choices. He can either go on a scooter, right? Which you said, you know, not not the best thing to do on Shabbos. Yes. Or he yeah, or he could get there at Berkeley and say, took it to Zimmer afterwards. What's more important? Not, you know, well, not, not writing a scooter. Yeah, exactly. So I, I would say that the more important is to start Shabbos earlier. Mm-hmm. That's it. So, so even even though so in, in on um, on Shabbos night on Friday night it's impossible to keep these three hours. So our sage says so the Shabbos the holiness of Shabbos is is going to protect you. Don't worry about it. So n- nobody can wait four hours. I mean maybe I don't know who, who can, but uh, most most of the people they they uh, they have, like after right after meal that they're going to bed. Maybe I don't know half an hour, one hour tops. After the finished meal, they're going to bed. That's a, that, that's a known thing. Understood. So it's better to start beforehand than... Yes, uh, yes. So, I mean, you, you always add, add to the Shabbos, whatever you can. So if, you, if you're able to, to, to down with the first minion, that down with the first minion, some trying to be machne, and they, they, they do like a, a, this, how is it, the marif at, at, at the nightfall, at the rabbin of time night. Okay, maybe you're a big tzaddik, but uh, your kids, but your family, they starving like at 10. Uh, what time are you going to come? You're going to sing these guys, and what, what time are you going to come? 10 p.m., 11.30 p.m., and now you want to do kiddush? Stop it with your, you understand? So you have to take into consideration other people, uh-huh. right? So if you can go, especially if, I would say, just say, add to Shabbos. Add. Add means that after plugging, you, you can accept Shabbos or so. So, so question. Now, yeah, let's say Shabbos say you know the the uh, the the sages say Shabbos will protect you. Uh, now, I have a bigger problem then. What about Yom Kippur? After Yom Kippur, everybody has a meal. It's late at night, so on and so forth. And uh, what's it called? You can't eat on Yom Kippur, obviously. And a lot of people eat after Yom Kippur. So, what's the plan? Okay, that's uh, that's uh, only a few 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 times here that that's exception. Yeah, so I mean uh, also the Yom Kippur ends. Uh, it's not that late. What about that? Seven p.m., seven thirty, eight p.m. It's not like uh, uh, in a in a crazy hour. No, no. Most of the adults do not go to bed at nine. Or, okay, so eat eat like uh, normal meal. Some 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 people I I saw many times with. Uh, <sighs> They fasted, and right after the Yom Kippur ends, they would go to non kosher restaurant. So, and it's buffaloes. Like, why would you do that? I mean, uh, you you're fasting. You did like you uh, at least I saw you. Uh, you you're sitting next to me, or like uh, ten uh, like few rows away from me. I saw you reading the books. I saw you like uh, trying to follow the the, the, the people and so uh, that they sing a little. I mean, why would you go? Uh, I mean, uh, it's some kosher, but at least that's night. Why would you like throw everything in the garbage? In a sense, so it's uh, um, okay. So let, let, let's continue. So we were saying, okay. So the uh, bit gave us good example of um, making this hard, uh, like uh, compress the the ground into ferro, which is no problem. So what, which one is a bike? Okay, or this uh, or the scooter? Uh, even though he he made the ferro, but it's uh, it's not going to be productive. Okay, so now he said, "However, um, one is permit not permitted to drag a heavy object. So you have this uh, uh, this bench, you know, this uh, uh, heavy like metal bench, unliftable. So that, that's what it is, right? Uh, However, one is not permitted to drag the heavy objects uh, along the earth. Uh, if it is, uh, de- will definitely make a fire. So this bench, like I don't know how many pounds, hundred pounds, uh, about fifty, I don't know, like." Uh, for sure, it's going to make impression in the, in the world. Although uh, uh, here too, Pharaoh is unintended, so right, but uh, unintended acts are forbidden if the, pre- pre- uh, if the prohibited consequences are inevitable, secretious. Therefore, one is forbidden to, uh, for example, to pull a heavy chair across the lawn on Shabbos. So, uh, so we, we said on, 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 on another hand, we said if it's it was not your intention, but for sure that that's going to happen. This psychiatrist uh, just remind us this chicken example, right? 
I, I just wanted to, to cut the head of the chicken. I don't mean to chicken to that. Guess, guess what? It's going to that. Right? Mm -hmm. So same with this heavy object. You, you, you drag it on, a, on the ground and you, you don't expect the fire to be there. You'll have to. So, so questions like this then. Now, it feels like uh, uh, a zero for this would be Let's say someone has a chair, right? He doesn't plan on putting it over the lawn, right? Not drag it over the lawn. He plans to put it over his shoulder or something. Is that allowed to put it over your shoulder going over the lawn? Maybe it's going to drop. Maybe there's going to be a problem. No, 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 no. no. This, this is no problem whatsoever. So uh -huh. usually it does not drop. But, but, but practically, yes, it can drop, of course. Uh -huh. how, how many times, let's say something... Uh, out of 10 times, out of 10 times, how many times does something have to happen for you ha to have to start going stringently? For example, does it have to fall three out of 10 times for you to start having to not carry it at all? I, I, I guess three, three in a row. Uh -huh, three. three in a row. Yeah, the, the, there are some people when, when they take something in their hands, like you, you uh -huh. see, you, I, I close my eyes, here we go. We go to the broken glass. I count to three, one, two, boom, muzzle off, yeah. You understand? And there are some, some people, I mean, it's not their fault, but the, I mean, maybe it is, I don't know. But they, they, they have these hands that drop things, they uh, knock things over, like uh, the, the guy is, uh, is smiling, he's waving the hand, and he bumps it into everything. Else as well. you know, so, so uh, question. So uh, th this might be very, very little off topic, but on Shabbos for Kiddush, right? When you're holding the Kiddush cup, there's a chance that it might spill, so on and so forth. Uh, is it you're you're allowed to sit down? Is it okay to sit down completely for when you're doing kiddush? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No we, we said this is one of the opinion. I, actually, Ashkenazi way, Ashkenazi way is uh, to make a kiddush uh, while sitting. No, no, uh, not everybody follows yeah. this, but okay. uh, that's. Uh, I think Shulchan says even. I think Shulchan says make it sit while sitting. So Kabbal, Kabbalistically, mm -hmm. they say standing, maybe the, the, for, for the first uh, paragraph by Chavua, that then you sit down, and uh, some other people don't say you for until, until the, you, you say even bracha, standing, and then you sit down and then you drink, or, or you sit down, say bracha, and then drink. So, I mean, the, the, there's no problem with sitting. Absolutely, no problem. Uh, they say when, when, you have, when, when you sit, you have better intention. Uh, you you say yeah, like uh, you you more stable I guess I don't know like you you, you can concentrate better that's why when mm -hmm. uh, when we make bracha on food or, or after bracha it's proper to see it's not always uh, in, uh, in in my mind at least but it's uh, it's proper to do that Understood. the Paschim extended this prohibition to the previous eras in the previous eras to include stone surface. To ensure that the heavenly object uh, will not be mistakenly dragged uh, along the earthen floor, uh, uh, earthen floor surface. Therefore, it would be forbidden to drag a heavy uh, object across the stone first surface if it will make a furrow in an earthen surface. Across the stone surface, if, if it will make a furrow. Yes. Nowadays, however, so let, let, let's finish the and try to listen. Nowadays, however, the majority of the houses have hard floors, for example, stone tile, uh, tile wood. The skin permits such activities, meaning uh, that uh, you're not going to make fire on uh, fire on the, the, in your hard wood. Okay. Accordingly, one is permitted to drag heavy object inside the house. Because all of the houses have a covered floor, but uh, but you're going to hear from from your family very loud and clear. So what, what they think of you eh? if you do that? Uh, this leniency also included uh, paved yards. And if you have this uh, uh, paved yards or patios adjacent to the house, because they are viewed as ex extensions of the representative houses. So basically, all of these things, no problem. Okay. So now, okay, continue B, and then example, baby carriages, wheelchairs. So now, as we said, uh, uh, it's uh, close to, uh, to the scooters, I guess. One is permitted to push wheelchair or a baby carriage along the earthen surface 
even though the wheels will make in uh, indentations in the ground. That is, we understand, right? This does not constitute making a pharaohs, pharaoh, uh, because the wheels do not remove any earth from the ground, they merely compress. This is not um, coilish, plum. Okay, so as we said, this is not a problem. So you can push wheelchair, maybe carry, okay. Okay. But and also, there's no problem with walking on a muddy floor, is there? On a muddy, you know, outside. Uh, w w walking on what floor? What? Yeah, like, like muddy grass, you know, where... Let's no, see, no, there's no problem. No, there's no problem. Uh -huh. So even they, they say, I, I don't know if you remember, so they say even if you have like, a, uh, I don't know, like brand name, right? There's uh, some yeah, yeah, writing yeah. of the brand. Name. And of course, well, when you step on the mud, it's going to be like uh, in print in there. Or you step in the snow, it doesn't matter, right? So they say there is no problem. It's not a uh, lack of writing because first of all, it's not uh, your intention, and you did not do anything out of ordinary. That's that's what it is. Okay. Okay. So continue. So D, removing obstacles from the ground, <laughs> including the lack of koirish, uh, is removal of the obstacles that are attached to the ground. Since removing the, ups, uh, the obstacles uh, makes uh, it possible to plow and plant uh, the ground. And then plant, plant, plant the ground. Plow and plant the ground. Okay. Um, if the obstacles were not attached to the ground, but they are so um, embedded in it that the shovel is required to remove them, they're considered connected to the ground. The touch is uh, okay. So let's uh, let's try to, to, to understand. So it's not like uh, um, it's not like they, they, they attached with uh, something, right? So even though like uh, the, the, the stone, it's it's a little deeper in, in the ground, right? So it's not so easy to, to take it out, right? So you need a shower or something like to uh, in order to, to move it. So in this case, they say the obstacles may make it possible to plow and plant the ground. So that's a problem. So one more time, if the obstacles are not attached to the ground, but they are so embedded in it that the shovel is required to remove them, they're considered connected to the ground. So anyway, detaching weeds <laughs> and dead plants from the ground is included in the Milacha Hoyash. Because other plants, uh, plants can uh, can then be planted in their place. So even though we were talking about uh, these dry weeds, right? They they are dead, hundred percent. So it's just from you pulling out them, it's like you are making you leaving the hole, right? So it doesn't matter. You do it with the instrument, or you just put uh, something that was there. Someone okay. allowed to carry a cane on the grass. Okay. Cane. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's cane. cane. I, 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 would, I would say it's exactly the same. Uh, the same halacha is a baby carriage. You, know, the, you, you compress. You're not. You're not making it better. Uh huh. Uh huh. Understood. Okay. You're, you're not making it better. So, so the, the, the plow. I don't know if you saw it, like plow work. It's it's cut. The, it's uh, under the angle. I'm not sure. Like maybe 45 degrees, 40 degrees, and it's like uh, like torn like on on a side on a side. Maybe making a file. And then they put the, the seeds there, and then they cover back. That's uh, that's how the process. Will. But uh, when, when when you cut open, so you you make it like the um, the soil like loose, right? So loose, it's easier to, to plant. But 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 here it's it's not the case. You, you make it harder. Okay. So next one. So it was a, this was very short. Enriching the soil. Enriching soil is included in the of Hoyerish. Uh, Meaning plowing, right? because it to improve the earth for plants, therefore it is forbidden to work any type of fertilizer, chemical compost uh, manure into the ground. Okay. If the fertilizer is deposited without working, uh, working it into the soil, one does not transgress the prohibition because the soil will not be enriched. So let's see. Yeah, let's try to understand what it means. So, so all, all, all of this like natural or chemi chemical fer fertilizers are forbidden. 
okay? But one more time we say into the ground, not on top of the ground. One more time, last sentence. If the fertilizer is deposited without working it into the soil, I'm not sure, just dump on top of it, right? One does not transgress the prohibition because the soil will not be enriched. Okay. Um, making holes in the ground, uh, it's F, which is, uh, I guess, last one. Making holes in the ground, basic rule. As stated above, um, making holes in the ground is included in the lack of plowing. It is, it is for, the, for the purpose of uh, facilitating planting. For example, to place seeds inside of the hole. So making a far, farrow is like for, for the whole uh, field, but if you have only one flower or whatever, one, uh, uh, one, one seed of, of tomatoes, so you need only one hole, you need, you need 100 holes. Okay, that's what you do. Inside of the hole, making holes in the ground for, many purpose, uh, for any purpose other than planting, for example, indoors, is transgression the lack of building. Bon the, the, doesn't this prove that you're not allowed to carry a cane because you're making a hole? No, no, but uh, it, 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 again, the, 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 it's for uh, um, when you compress the ground, you, you're not you're not improving. So you you're making a hole, but uh, the, the, to make a hole, well, when they mean mean to make a hole, to make a hole, right, with the shovel, with whatever object, uh -huh. and then put a, put a seat. But if you if you uh, did uh, with uh, with this cane, first of all, I don't think it's going to imprint too much. It's not going to be a hole. I mean, a person is not leaning completely on this cane. Maybe on crutches, yes. On crutches, he would uh, push more. But but plus, plus there is like uh, these uh, rubber things. I, I think uh, the, the hole is not going to be that deep. First of all, so it doesn't it's going to compress. So even even if you put the so even if you put in such a hole uh, uh, the seed, it's going to get blown away. So it's not going to... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. He, go ahead. he doesn't go over the malach of building either? No, no. Building, uh, it's it's not... We didn't get to it. We, you know, we're going to build it. It's uh, I think I want to... The reason I ask is because over here it talks about it. Okay, but... Uh, over here it talks about building. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We didn't get uh -huh. to it. Building, oh, you see, I opened the first page, it's building. 4 to 1, 23, unbelievable. So it starts cutting. So the building starts on uh, on 4, 1. So we're only 150 pages away. Okay, a little less. So we, we get in there slow, but sure. Okay. So let, let me read it one more time, and we try to explain. Um, as stated above, uh, making holes in the ground is included in the lack of plowing, if it is for the purpose of facilitating planting. Okay, so you want to do, put a little seed. For example, to place seed inside the hole. Making holes in the ground for any, uh, any purpose other than planting, for example, indoors. So, I'm not sure how, with a knife, I don't know, like with a drill, I'm not sure, like, how would he make a hole inside? Okay, but let's see. Um, it's, um, it's transgression of the of building. Okay, or, or, or maybe demolishing. Demolishing a building to different things. Okay, different level. Okay, number two. Making a hole in a loose dirt or sand. Okay, here we go. One does not transgress the of of uh, Khoirish uh, if the walls of the hole will immediately collapse. Very interesting, right? Uh, after it's done. Therefore, one is not forbidden to dig hole in a dry, a loose sand on Shabbos. So one more time, dry, loose sand on Shabbos. So commentary. Um, in most situations, however, it is still forbidden to dig because the prohibition against moving muktza, uh, since the sand is generally speaking muktza. So that's okay. That's a different story. So send this mukta, but uh, since when when uh, let's say let's say according to some opinion, when it's dry and it's not going to stand like uh, in one place, it's going to like, collapse if you make it a little higher. Okay, let, let's say this question. Yeah. 
Uh, so let's say you're building it on a, on a beach, or, uh, not building, but you're making the hole uh, on a beach, right? And it's wet sand, so it would stand, okay? Yes, yeah, uh, that, the, that's, that's the problem. That's, that's building, for sure. Oh. Yeah, but what if, you know, there's, there's always waves going by. Waves, you know, it's going to put it back no, in no, its no, place. No, 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 that's uh, exactly. So, but but uh, the, the melacha of building is complete. Okay, it's uh -huh. going to get demolished, but uh, the melacha is complete. Uh, understood. So you're not allowed to dig a, a deep hole either in sand because it also, exactly. also be exactly. hundred percent. Exactly. So if if you have a, like a, in your house, you have a sandbox and it's dry, completely sand, and it's not going to to stand. So so be, basically another another issue is uh, um, if um, if children is uh, are going to. Um, to make some uh, like forms from, from the from the sand and there is like so there is some like uh, uh, some uh, I don't know what the, the, the species to that they play uh, with sand so they, they they have like different fruits vegetables some animals so it's like it's almost like writing you know say of course it's not going to endure I we understand that but uh, for some time it's it's going to stay there. So that's another issue with the sand. Okay, so to continue, number three, uh, exposing a hole. One is permitted to remove stick from the ground on shelves, even though it, um, the removal uh, will leave the hole in the ground. Exposing a hole that has already been made is not considered creating a hole. It's very interesting. This is only permitted in situation when there is no concern that the individual will fill the hole with soil or, or in order to even out uh, the surface of the ground. Okay, so basically, I'm not sure, maybe it was, uh, uh, it was, uh, I don't know, may, maybe something that he needed for showers, maybe, like, I, I'm just making an example. If he had some, some kind of like uh, metal chair and then he said after, after the rain, so the, 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 this chair sank into the ground, right? So now he wants to pull out the chair. So when he pulls out the chair, then the holes are the same. So there is no, in this case, there is no problem. Okay, because the holes were before that. Okay. So time. Uh, practical applications. A, removing mud from shoes. Okay. According to some authorities, uh, it is forbidden to scrape the mud of one shoes uh, or any earthen surface on, on any earthen surface, the most convenient place to scrape mud off uh, one shoes is the depression in the ground. Right? This action, however, will result in leveling the ground. Thus, transgressing the Milacho of Hoyesh. So, okay, so you have, uh, let's say, it does not apply to us, but let's say you, you live in some somewhere upstate, somewhere in the village, right? So you're walking around, there is a lot of mud. So there is, you have a lot of mud sticking to your shoes. So you wanna like uh, cl uh, clean off the mud. So where you go, where there's a little deeper. So you, basically you, you pull your shoes and all of this uh, mud should stay in, in this uh, in indentation, right? So that's that's the issue. Because you level in the ground, that's the issue. Therefore the scheme forbids scraping of mud one shoes on any earthen surface um, as sort of prevent scraping off uh, in a depression. So this depression is the issue. So you want to scrape off the mud, do it on, on something like on a, on a hard uh, surface. And then one should scrape off mud on the edge of the step, okay? A corner of a wall or, or on the concrete sidewalk. That's, that's what we should do. Okay, continue. Removing excrement from shoes. Uh, if one has to remove excrement from his shoes and there is no other way of removing, he may scrape it off the earthen floor. So, meaning that because the dignity of the person prevails, like uh, that takes precedence, and, uh, and here it's, uh, it's very embarrassing to have this uh, thing on the shoes, and plus it's not his intention. So, there are many reasons for us to permit him to do that. Okay, so let's try to finish up. Um, walking with a cane uh, uh, or a high-heeled shoes. One is permitted to walk with a cane 
even if the cane makes holes in the soil. Similarly, it is permitted for a woman to walk in the, on the ground. This is a high heel, heels, even though the heels uh, will make holes in the ground uh, while making. So, disclaimer, a Jewish woman should not wear high heel shoes because it's very modest. Right? Okay. Uh, rubbing saliva or mucus into the ground. One may not rub saliva or mucus into the ground because um, he may level the ground when doing so. Um, thereby translating the melacha of Kodesh, plowing and, or building. So building is said to, to make it the, 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 the ground level. So that's the building. Kodesh meaning that uh, they make a like, hole to, to, for plants. However, one may walk over the substances if it does not uh, intend to rub them on the ground. So, I mean, that's not the intention. You can walk, you don't do anything abnormal, no problem. This prohibition does not apply to indoors, uh, non earthen floors, or a concrete path uh, which lead to indoors. Okay. Next one playing in a sandbox. Children may play in a sandbox. Provided the sand is dry and loose. So as we said, like in under some circumstances, okay, dry and loose. If ho um, the holes that are made while digging the sand are permissible because they immediately collapse. So if you have such a sand, right? So if it's after the rain, or it's not going to work. If, however, the sand is moist, children who have reached the age of Hinos, approximately three to four years of age, may not play with, uh, with it because the holes that are made uh, will not immediately collapse. Thus, translates in the lack of banane building. Clear, right? So if it's wet, not a lot of sun. Next one, F, moving a barrel. It is forbidden to move a full barrel uh, on the earthen surface. The Paskim explained that one may level the ground uh, to provide a surface on which the barrel was stand firm. I mean, uh, maybe it's, 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 so, it's so not even that, and he wants to this barrel to stand, I'm not sure, barrel with what, uh, I don't know, maybe it's water, I'm not sure. Uh, so he might get to level the ground, so it would not fit, okay. This prohibition does not apply indoors where the most of the floors are not earthen surfaces, okay. Next one, sitting on a chair on the earthen surface. As, as we said, it's going to like uh, uh, sink in, right? Sinking. Okay. Uh, one may sit in commentary. However, care should be taken that one should not drag the chair on the ground because the holes will made uh, made on the soil. Okay. So just see on the chair on the earthen surface. Although the legs of the chair will, uh, will, will make holes on the ground, since the legs merely compress the soil and do not remove any soil from the place. It is not a violation of milacha of uh, oil. So meaning that if you make the holes inside, you press inside, but not remove anything. Even if the legs of the chair do not remove the soil, nevertheless, one is permitted to sit on the chair on the earthen surface. Okay, so let's stop here. It's a good place to stop. And next time, Bizar Hashem, we're going to learn stuff new. Okay, any questions? Yes, uh, I, I want to go. Well, what do the sages say about one who does not go to sleep? What, what, uh, what type of how, how, how do we? I, I, I haven't, it's finished. I, I, I haven't read anything about it, I, or maybe I don't remember. But slichas, so, so basically, the, the time for, for slichas is the whole day, basically. Mm -hmm. So you can do some, some of the people that are alone, so they have the small children, they cannot get up, they have to do this and that. So, so they go to slichas at, uh, like before Mincha, basically. Uh -huh. 6 p.m., I don't know what time they go. So, yeah, but, it's but, possible. But, so, they, you know, but uh, it's to do it with the media, of course, because. Uh, Many, many, many things, uh, like the 13 attributes, you cannot do it without me. Uh-huh, so you have to do it with a million. Okay, understood. I mean, if you, look, 
if 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 there is no minion, you cannot get to the minion, whatever. So you you do without minion, but you you skip the thirteen attributes. That's it. Of Hashem. When you say Hashem, Hashem, so the, these things you you're not allowed to say unless that person knows how um, uh, all of the notes how it is written in the Torah. So that that's when you're allowed to say that. Otherwise, you're not allowed. And also, we do you need to tell people, no? We do, you don't need to tell people, no. Uh -huh. You can say it yourself, yeah. Okay. So only, only this Hashem, Hashem, you need to, for Kaddish, and there is one, one Kaddish in the beginning of Slichas, one Kaddish in, at the end of the Slichas, but basically, Hashem, Hashem, and... Uh, let's see. Understand. Understand. Israel, go ahead. Oh, uh, yes. Um, I, I write... This question: This is it. It is a sin to fast if we are unhealthy and young people. I I I, I didn't get uh, about fast day. Could, could you repeat the question, please? Sorry. Uh, if we are unhealthy on young people, it yes. is a sin to fast. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, he, oh, yeah. I, I see. I see what you did. So, okay, all right. So let me let me just uh, repeat the question. So, so. Basically, a, a, a person is sick, right? Yes. So uh, if he wants to fast anyway, so doctor, let's say, he has a doctor. He, he went to the doctor and asked him, how, how am I doing? Am I allowed to fast? And the doctor said, you're not allowed to fast. You have to eat, you have to this, take this medicine, that medicine, and all of this medicine, I, I'm just making it up, right? So you cannot do without food, right? So many, like uh, we all know that many, uh, medicine you take have to take with the milk, with food, whatever, with something, right? So in this case, we have to evaluate. So basically, you have to explain to the doctor. So I mean, uh, uh, in all of these cases, we go by, by the doctor because um, because person is not allowed to endanger his life. You understand? So, um, so if, if he's uh, very sick and doctor said you're not allowed to fast, because it's going to ruin your health. So you're not allowed to fast on one hand. On another hand, uh, what, uh, even though you're allowed to eat, you eat the minimum amount and you, and you drink the minimum amount and you do not, uh, uh, do not go over, if possible, if possible, go over one ounce, his eyes, right? So, so every, every time, you, for example, he wants to eat bread, so he eat less than his eyes in nine minutes. Right, so he, he drinks less than RVs in nine minutes. So that's nine minutes, according to all opinions, is not considered to be eaten. Because uh, he, I ask this because um, I tried to fast in the previous year, young keeper, and I only last uh, twelve hours. Uh, that's mm -hmm. that is not counting, I think, any fast at all. I think. Uh, it, it does not count what? Uh, you, does not count uh, as uh, we are not fasting if we oh, do no, no, fast. Yeah. Okay. No, no, okay. So, so you, you fast as, 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 as much as you can, first of all. Oh. But if doctor told you that you, you must be, for, for, I, I, I give you this example. I think, I think that that's my, my personal opinion. So you can, you can eat up to the, the, the nightfall. Almost up to the nightfall. Nightfall, I don't know what time it is going to be this year. Let's say, let's say it's uh, around 8 p.m. I don't know, plus minus, well, let's say, right? About, uh, so you can uh, eat and drink as much as you want, let's say, until the seventh hour, let's say, right? So you, you eat a lot until seventh hour. Then, then you go to sleep, right? You pray, you read uh, whatever we need to say. You go to sleep the whole night. You understand? So here, here we go, seven, seven or eight hours, you already have 10 hours. So oh, okay, I don't, so I don't, resume. I don't, I don't see like, a, I, I don't see why a person cannot fast in any amount of time. It's not like you eat it constantly, like every two hours, like a little baby. So you, you ate a big meal. Okay, so then, then you rest for eight hours. You, you went to bed, no? Because I, I thought that if we, fast and only we last only 12 hours it is no, uh, no. Hard, uh, the fast so maybe if that that is not counting anything we 
better we don't uh, we don't do anything at all. No, 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 no. You 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 show you show him to the Hashem. Look, Hashem, I'm I'm trying. I did this eight hours, even though I just ate and I slept this uh, seven and a half hours. Does not make any difference. I mean that, that you did your part. Hashem knows that you have this uh, sickness that that you cannot do. I mean he he sends you this sickness. Okay, so so you're not uh, you're not obligated, but uh, but if you can uh, last with this uh, eating less than kizais every nine minutes, you, that's what you must do. What's it called? Right, you right. understand? Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Just just to put it to perspective, let's say uh, less than a kizais uh, is let's say I don't know uh, a cookie. So a cookie every nine minutes. You have ten cookies in ninety minutes, and that's already I don't know, like a uh, thousand calories, and that's half half the amount of calories you need for the whole day. You yeah. can do that the whole day, so on and so forth. So it's, yes, uh, yeah. But uh, you see, uh, uh, why why I also just take his eyes? So his eyes is, is not taken from a thin air. That you have to understand. So this his eyes that they calculated, the, so it, it's the minimum amount, minimum amount of food they can satiate you for. For short, uh, for, for any like even short period of time. Yeah, you understand. So it, it technically, like uh, theoretically, what would you say? It is true. But when you eat this cookie, you you're going to be like every nine minutes, you're going to be even more hungry than before. I mean, uh, psych psychologically. You understand? But uh, one more time, Israel, I have to talk to the doctor if he said that no, no, you must eat. Uh, uh, you must you must uh, eat uh, like uh, the full meal. You have to eat bread. You have to do vegetables, whatever you need to eat. So that, that's what you do. You understand what I, what I mean? So if uh, if doctor said okay, just eat. So so you, you don't feel uh, weak. So so you can you can eat uh, less than his eyes, drink less than reviews, and there is no problem in nine, nine minutes. The nine minutes is the lenient, the most lenient opinion. So if you go by so if you don't break, even according to the most in opinion, there is, it's not considered to be eating. Even though you're eating, for a healthy person is not allowed to eat one crumb or uh, drink uh, even one drop of the water, but uh, for, uh, for halakhi purpose, it's not considered to be eating. So meaning what? That uh, after this amount, you don't uh, say after blessing. Yeah, okay. And, uh, any other questions? That's all. That's it. Okay. Israel, you good? Any other questions? All right. No problem. So until uh, so I wish everybody good Shabbos and until uh, Sunday, Zakashem. Yes. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. אני מברך את הרבנים, הרב ירון ראובן, הרב אפרים כחלון, ראשי ארגון בעזרת השם, שהלכו בפעליון, שעלו מעלה מעלה, יהיה להם ברכה והצלחה, קדוש ברוך הוא ימלא בלשונות ליבם, לטובה ולברכה, שבכל מה שיפנו, יזכירו ויצליחו, יזכירו עוד לעשות כאלה וכאלה, הודיעו תורה לאדירה, אמן ואמן. הוא היהודי הזה, הוא היה מיליונר, סגר את כל הביזנס, אמר אני משקיע פה בעולמה של תורה. איפה הוא גר? בפלורידה. פלורידה, איפה זה פלורידה? באמריקה. כן, ליד. אנחנו שם עכשיו הולכים להקים קהילה ספרדית. חזק אותו בשביל. קהילה ספרדית גדולה. תעבירו מה שבירכתי אותו. כן. קהילה ספרדית גדולה.